G'day guys, in this video we're going to be looking at the concept of purchasing power parity. So we'll have to talk about what the law of one price is, and also what purchasing power parity is, and then we'll define purchasing power parity in terms of real exchange rates. So the law of one price says that all goods should cost the same amount in every economy after you've adjusted for exchange rates. In other words, if you buy a good domestically, then it should cost you the same amount as if you exchanged your domestic currency for some foreign currency and bought the good using the foreign currency in a different economy. And that should apply for every possible economy, whether you want to buy it from France or Denmark or Algeria or wherever you could possibly buy it from. Once you've exchanged your money at the exchange rate and bought the good, it should be the same price everywhere. That is what the law of one price says. Now, if a basket of goods can be bought domestically at the same price as converting your currency and importing it, then you say there is purchasing power parity. So the gist of the law of one price is it says that there should be purchasing power parity everywhere. Now, why does the law of one price exist? Why is there this insistence that things should cost the same amount absolutely everywhere? And it's based on this idea of what's called arbitrage opportunities, or the opportunity to make a perfect risk-free profit. So imagine that the iPhone 6 costs $800 in Australia and 50,000 rupees in India, and the exchange rate is 50 rupees per Australian dollar. 